Hello everyone. So I've already made three cards using the 12 by 12 paper pad of calligraphy from Stamperia. So I've still got a lot of the topper sheets left and a lot of the patterned paper. So I'm going to be making some old favourites, just a couple of nice easy easel cards which will fit easily into a 6 by 6 envelope. So one will be twisted, one a regular one. So just a way of using an old technique with some new papers that we've got from Intercraft. So just grab your scoreboard and your trimmer and your papers and we can get going. So to make these little cards, I've got a lot of the top sheets left. So I've just cut them out and I've got a piece of the paper left over from one of the other cards and I've just used the other side and I've backed a couple of the ephemera and sentiments onto some black card just to give them strength because I'm going to use them as my stoppers. So we're going to make two different easel cards and they should be called easy cards. I've got two pieces because I'm making two cards, 11 and a half by five and three quarters. And I've got two squares at five and three quarters squares. So the first one is just gonna be the regular easel. So to make that, I want to score my card stock in half so I'm scoring at five and three quarters. And I'm going to score one of the sides in half. So I'm going at two and three quarters. So it's as easy as that. And then for my twisted one, again, I want to do it in half. So I'm going at five and three quarters. And now I want to score a diagonal line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my last channel and I'm going to put the corner into the channel there and my halfway point down here. So line them both up and I'm going to score down the diagonal. And that's all the scoring done. So I've got my Teflon uh, multi-purpose tool and I'm just going to fold both of these in half. So for the regular one, the one on the left, I'm just going to fold that bit in half again. So it's there. So when I said I did the two and three quarters, it's not actually in quite in half. But it doesn't matter, as long as it's somewhere near the middle, it'll just give you um, a steeper piece by here if you come towards the front. If you go towards the back, you'll get a more gradual one, so it depends where you want it to align. And with the diagonal one, we want to fold it this way. So we've got the triangle that way, so it'll sit up this way. So now we're just going to adhere those squares to the front. So no, these cards have been around for ages, but it's just a way of using older things, which we've probably forgotten about, with our new stash. That's a good way to use up all those leftover bits. So I'm just gonna line it up there. And on the front of this second one. Just 
take some glue just to get the edge. So I'm just going to lift it up so I can line those corners up. Yeah. And you can see your easel there and your twisting easel there. So let's start with the twisted easel. Okay, so for the twisted easel, I've just got this Love Art Right one, and we're just gonna go really simple with this one. Just show you how you can make a really, really quick card using these toppers. But obviously you can take it as far as you want then. So I wanna make sure I've got it the right way. Bit too much glue there. So that will be the top. So then it's going to lie there. So I want this to go there. So I could have used the back of this one for the other one because it looks really nice. You could have just put your stopper there. But we're going to go for this side. And that's it, just from that topper sheet, you've got your twisted easel and you can see the pens going up there. So that's why I went for the inkwell spilling out. Thought it'd go nicely there and we're gonna use that as a stopper. So we need some height to that. So I'm gonna use these foam pads. in a piece there. And I'm gonna use that ink bit and the well itself as the stopper. So where do I want it? There. Okay. So there's your twisted easel done. And then Let's bring in the other one. Okay, so this was my piece of paper. You can might recognize that from one of the other cards. So I've just flipped it over and used the other side rather than cut into a whole new sheet. Use up what you've got. So I'm going to open the card up. So my paper. I'm not going to see much of it, so I'm just going to go there. And then for the topper, it originally looked like that. So what I did, I took a craft knife and I cut that out and I mounted it onto some black card just for strength. And what that'll do Makes you wonder which one is when it's the same both sides. It's just going to give us some dimension. So I'm going to do this outer one flat. Let's check them right. Yep. And so now, because I've done that black edge with the cardstock, it'll hide where we've cut out from. So let's just, again, some foam tape. Let's put some in the middle as well, otherwise it's gonna bow in the middle. Bring back our card and line it over 
where we cut the topper out. And this was just on the back of one of the sheets. And then just decide which height you want to go. I think I want some of those borders to show, so let's go there. And there we have a nice elegant easel card with a little bit of dimension just using one of the toppers. So there we are, two easel cards, same method, just one different score line and you get two totally different looks. So thanks for watching and if you do have a go, I'd love you to share with me. So if you go to Facebook and type in paper crafting with Paul, you'll come across my Facebook group and you can share your pictures in there. I'd love to see what you do. And then head to Intercraft as well. Give them a like on Facebook and then head to the shop and you'll see the great prices on these papers I've been using. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all again. Mm -hmm.